everybody. Good afternoon. Miss Anas, are you there? Yes. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon and welcome to every one of you. On behalf of Dr. Veranita, I'm going to hosting this event. My name is Lala Irviana and you can call me Miss Lala. I am Dr. Veranita, PhD student and assistant in Introduction to Family Business module. Today, I will be hosting the lecturing entitled Woman Entrepreneur Community and Sustainability, presented by Ms. Anas. Before we start, to inform you that the recording of this lecturing will not be provided. For those who will write reflection for Dr. Veranita assignment, please pay attention and the presence is based on this assignment. Last but not least, if you have questions or comments during the guest lecturing session, you may write down in the chat box or use raise hands button. Without further delay, I will briefly introduce Ms. Sanas, the owner of Rorokenes. This business idea came up when she got challenged by her daddy to produce high quality leather bags such Italian or France handmade. Ms. Sanas started this business in 2014. Apologize if I miss out something, maybe Ms. Sanas may clarify or add later on. Video one. Suara kembali. Kembali. Now, now, we must welcome for our guest speaker, Miss Sanas. Miss Sanas, the screen is yours. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Thank you very much for having me in here. So it's just like I'm not give you lecturers. Yeah, we're just going to share. I'm just going to share what. I we we as a team in Rorokan has been doing since 2014 as the product given by uh, Ibu Veranita. Uh, Ibu Veranita, yes, we started Rorokan at 2014 based on the challenge being given by my father. At the first start is come up probably all you all uh, you guys knows about the brand called Bottega Veneta. It's a leather bag made in Italy, and then it's quite pricey though. The price uh, starting from $2,000 above. So when I asked my husband to buy me one, my husband said to me that you really be ridiculous because the price is so expensive. And then in here, my father tells me, oh, buying is very easy. But making making it is going to be quite difficult, and I think that this challenge I think this challenge is quite this challenge is quite challenging for me, especially if I be able if we are me as the founders able to make it make uh, those kind of bag exactly like what the Italian bag did by using the local uh, component and then also local crafter from Indonesia. So therefore, after eight months of uh, research uh, and analyze, uh, after a research and R&D research and development process, and in April 2014, we established the brand Rorokanes. Next. 
Now, this is the highlight of Moroccanes, the behind the story. This is, I'm quite fond of bags, so I, I do really like bags. My patient is in bags. Uh, some of you probably the patient is in shoes or probably in jewelry or else. But in here, I, I don't know, somehow bags is really in, is becoming one of my point of interest. So when I'm going to the mall, or uh, to the ex one of the exhibition or else, I will go to the section of accessories, which is in here is bags. Some, something in the women's or men's bags really intrigued me. And then after the idea came up, the challenging came up from my father, uh, and then from the result of our R&D for eight months, we be able to use 85% local content from Indonesia, and then afterwards, we be able to develop more by using an ethical and then, and then zero waste concept that could be verified as one of our base strategy to develop to develop our brand and our industry position statement even further. During during the process since 2014 we try to look and seek for uh, points of SDGs, points of SDGs of Sustainable Development Goals as our key strategy in developing our brand and also developing our business scheme. Why? Because in my, in my heart personally as, as a founder, I do believe that Profit is a must, but then the distribution of profit as well as the impact of the industry has to have its own responsibilities and then has to have make a good impact towards, uh, towards all the people that are working from downstream to mainstream in the industry that we built and also has to have a good impact towards our customers and then special especially also in our planet why because we are only living in earth right only in one planet we are not living in other planets we are only living in earth so therefore we have we, we have to be able to preserve the earth and then also the life of the earth not just for our own sake, but also for the children and then our grandchildren. And then when we are talking about gender in here, we are talking about the protection and also the establishment of women, of men, of children, of minority, as well as indigenous people. It has to be equally treated. Probably in Indonesia, in Indonesian word, we always use it as a kuasa relasi. I don't know it. I, I don't know. I haven't know yet the term in English, but there is a term called relasi kuasa in Bahasa, which is, I'm just going to Google it first in English. Probably Bulala will be able to help me in here. Power of relation. So the power is a relation has to be established healthily between all the persons, all the citizens. So, and then when you are talking about citizens, we are talking about family. And then the very base foundation of the yeah kuasa relasi, and then the very base of the citizen is family, and by building a healthy power relation, you build a healthy family, and then therefore you be able to build you be able to build a healthy nation in the future. Uh, who is the target market of Prorokness? The target market of Rorokanes based our based our on our data, and then 
also for the design that we are constructing based on our target market is mainly women, 85% women, aged between 28 to 45 years old. And then between 2019 and 2021, we already have a we already hired 15 permanent employees and then also 22 contract workers. Our maximum corrosion capacity of Roro Canesco treats to 300 letter bags a month. And then based on the data in the latest series period, we already developed and sold more than 10,000 bags. This development has proven bright prospect for Rokanes to continuously grow and then expand to low, new location and market share. And then for your info, our uh, for the for our uh, financial statement uh, at this moment, we already reached the sales for this years. Uh, I just know it in rupiah sibula. <laughs> Is around three billion rupees. I don't know how much is it in in, in uh, ringgit. Yeah, so I think one ringgit is three two thousand two thousand rupees. So when we are talking about uh, three billion rupees, you be able to divide it into two thousand. So I think it's about fifteen something uh, ringgit Malaysian ringgit. And then this, well, exact uh, well in two thousand and fourteen when we start. At the very first, we started with one uh, local crafter specializing in sewing, and then also one assistant, one help, one helper, starting from what? Not from not from a big factory or a small factory or a workshop, but starting from our own terrace at my house. So when we when it is raining, we got rain, and then when it's quite. Uh, sunny is going to be quite quite hot and then just in 2019 we'll be able to build our own workshop next next slide please okay this is several this is some of the media coverage nationally uh, that has been covered that the news of Rora Knest. the first one is Jakarta Post and then also there is, is Jawa Post, is quite well known uh, national newspaper in Indonesia. And then in the right side is also uh, this is one of the article that being made by Compass at the Jakarta Post. They they are telling our story when we are being banned from Russia. Uh, total in 2019, uh, Rorokness was being invited, was invited to attend one of the exhibition in Russia. And then officially we are appointed by the government and they supported by the government in Indonesia to go there. So I'm not going by myself, but I'm being sponsored by the government. And then after that in Demo de Dovo, uh, in the Russian airport, uh, uh, Moscow airport, I was being detained. <coughs> by the custom and regulation uh, department for about five hours. And then there's about 15 people interrogate me there, asking me about the, asking me about the bags, et cetera, whether this is the bag is being made in Indonesia or somewhere else. And then who's the maker of those bags, et cetera. And for about five hours, even our embassy would, uh, they could not enter my room. They being pushed away. And then at the last hour, when I had to sign up all the papers uh, being given by the custom department there, I asked for a translator. And in there, although all my papers are already complete, and then I am, I, I was also appointee by the government of Indonesia, along with the government letters, etc. They say that they need to do the curation first because they think that my packing list is quite fake by stating that our price is only $12,000, $1,200 for 10 bags. And then yes, we, we went to the court because they told 
that uh, the accusation that being given to Rorokanes is that, that we are going to do fraud, we are doing fraud by not willing to pay taxes, and then also we are going to do dumping. And then when I when we ask them why why on earth that you are accusing us for doing for doing um, uh, accusing us in those issues, they say that it cannot be done. It cannot be sell at twelve hundred dollars, but your product has to enter Russia or Moscow in here, starting from six thousand dollars. So it means that the local product can be pricing or can be appreciated with high with higher price even in Moscow. That's the that's the good side. So if I went to the exhibition quite well, then I just I went to the exhibition only with one bag. That's the bag that I've been carried from Indonesia. How about the rest? They are still in the custom up until now. And then in the middle is uh, the media coverage when we are uh, attend and then as uh, one of the exhibitors and also one of the one uh, one of the participants in Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week Russia. And then from Compass in the right side, they are telling the audience about anyaman cinta untuk para perempuan, the love in weaving for for all the women how we are trying to create the traditional Indonesian weaving technique and then made it into uh, uh, media, not bamboo or not algae, but we try to make it into uh, media, leather media and then also tenun. Uh, and then who's the one who making those weaving, the weaver, are from the marginalized community of the marginalized women in urban city Semarang. Next, this is the this is the program that is dear to my heart. I can say that this is a backbone of Rorokness. Rorokness is there because of Rorokness is here now in this position because of this program because of our willing as a team to create a better environment by making a good product and good impact not just for us in Rorakness but for for those who work with us from downstream to mainstream good products are common but products which empower are extraordinary in Rorokanes, we are committed to humanize humans in our work. The welfare of our employees as well as training to improve their skills is our priority. So when we are talking about gender in Rorokanes, even the workers here, they got menstrual leave. They also has a maternity leave for five days for men to accompany their wives when, they, when their wives got into a labor. And we also have a, what do you call that? Bonus, a maternity bonus for our, our, for our employee. This one is a weaving training with Basnas. Basnas is Badan Amil Zakat Nasional. Those weaver are the mustahik. The mustahik is the women that being given monthly, uh, monthly charity by Basnas. Those are the ones that doing the weaving for Rorokanes. We teach, the, we teach them, we give them the skill to weave. And then after that, their weave, uh, their, uh, their, uh, their, their result, the results is being purchased by Rorokanes in fair price. Not only that, but we also go further by giving them, by giving these women a training to financial inclusion as well as gender liberation to establish a good family planning for their family. Why? Because they are from slum area. They are from a marginalized people who live in suburb of Semarang. And then also from the right side in here, you'll be able to see some of the sources 
of Rorogenes. Uh, Rorogenes, uh, what do you call it? Bahan baku itu apa ya? Some of the Rorogenes, some of the Rorogenes uh, vendor, because we are using tenun as our as our sources to make a bag. We are also we, uh, we are also working along with woven crafters in Klate, and they are also coming from a communally in in uh, we are they are also working communally in the rural area of Central Java in Klate village. They are raw, raw material. Next. This one is ah sorry before that before that can 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 we have this? This one is the recognition and certificates that are already being given by uh, by the Rorok, uh, to Rorokanes. There's a People Choice Award Indonesia Good Design Selection in 2021. I won this along with uh, another big corporate. One is owned by Jarum. It's called Polytron. It's electronic, and then one is Viveri. They are quite big and they are producing uh, furniture. And then also uh, we won the second award for Anugerah Bangga Buatan Indonesia. And then becoming one of the special project for the Big Start 2018 made by blibli.com. Uh, in that part, in, 2000, in 2018 is the point when we are created the special design and the idea of woven weaving that made of the moon was found. Next. And then where are the markets that Zeroyok is already being sell? If we also sell it into Malaysia. I also have some of the target market in Malaysia and then we also do IOM. Uh, we also do IOM. Uh, with the one with several brands in Malaysia. We also sell it to Singapore, and then we also sell it to Hong Kong, and then Taiwan, using the, the diaspora, what we call that is in the Indonesian people that live there. And then we also sell our product in Japan by, by doing it through IOM. So there are several brands in, in Japan that already uh, had a contract with Rorokanes and then in Indonesia local market we already sell it from Sumatra up to Papua. We also have an official store in Jakarta which is in Sarinah Tamrin, Lantai 1 Untayan. Next. Oh. Oh, uh, you must, there's always a question asking me this. Are you able to make profit when you are investing yourself into what you so call sociopreneurship concept? And I can say yes, because profit is a must for a company to be able to, to, to be able to sustain itself in the future. But then when you are talking only about profit, it's an old in economic, I can say that because what you won't be able to make the pie bigger, and then secondly, you won't be able to make your brand stand out among all your competitors. So when we are talking about sociopreneurship strategy or sociopreneurship concept, there is about three points that you have to consider. First, is about planet. Environment variables relating to natural resources, water and air quality, energy conservation, and land use. Do we use this in Rorokanes? Yes. We try to use resources for our material that already verified for their own waste management system. And even they have to have an ACS report test. ACS report test is stated that the chemical being used has no harm to human as well as to water. 
And then when we are talking about this one, this uh, this point in the recognition, our risk, uh, we calculate our risk is only about five to three percent left over. And even this leftover is being given to the local crafter. So the local crafter be able to make upcycling product. It has to be bearable and it has to be viable. Why we have to be considered this? Because we are only have one planet, planet Earth that we are living. Even Elon Musk cannot go to Mars yet. So before we are going to Mars, there is a there is a planet Earth that we have to taking care of because why? This planet is the place that we are living. Our children and our grandchildren is going to live here. And then the second one, we are talking about people, social variables dealing with community, education, equity, social resources, health, well-being, and quality of life. It has to be bearable. It has to be equitable. Why? You have to talk about internal and then the second one is external. Internally, how are you going to treat your employee? Fair wages for us is a must because when people are full, people are happy. When people are full and people are happy, they are becoming productive. And a productive employee is a benefit for your own company. Even the turnover of your employee is going to be quite low. They're going to be loyal to your company. In Rorokanes, there are people, uh, there are some employees who is only receiving a certificate of primary school. About 50% of them, 50% or 60% of them, the higher certificate of education that they got is only high school. But we're giving them fair wages. And then when we are talking about skills, even managerial skills, we be able to discuss about branding, about quality of the product, etc. And then they be able to know the concept of this. Only although it's going to be slower, yeah, compared with those who earn a degree from university, they able to they be able to understand this. Can you imagine when we are talking about? Uh, people who just only graduated from primary, they won't be able to get privileges in anywhere else. And then this is our this is our responsible to make them able to get the fair wages. Why? Because they're going to have a family, they're going to have a children. And when this family, these children is going to be is not going to be taken care of by the society, it's going to be your burden your tax burden in the future. Teach them, qualify them, pay them well, and they're going to be a productive person in your company. That's internally. And then externally, by creating a good impact in your city, in your community, it, it means that you are making your brand or your, your company being loved by the government, by the city, and also by the community is going to create a loyal market in the future for you. Especially when they know that it is proven. There is a base evidence made by you and made by your brand towards the impact, the good impact being made. And then, of course, the third one is profit. Economic variables dealing with the bottom line and cash flow. Healthy cash flow is a must. Because when you are talking about company, you have to make profit. This profit, uh, profit is not about able to pay your employee. Able to pay is before making profit. Profit means that you'll be able to develop your strategy even more and you'll be able to scaling up your company even higher to get a better to get a bigger audience for your company and then somehow this concept this social entrepreneurship concept 
is able to make your brand stands more to be able is able also to make your loyal mar uh, your market becoming more loyal to you compare with the old system that only look for the profit next This is the 17 points of uh, 17 goals to transform our world. There is no poverty. The second one, zero hunger. Up to the 17 is partnership for the goals. You be able to choose. Are we have? Do we have to use the 70 17 point in our strategy? No, you don't have to use that. You be able to pick up two. You be able to pick up three. You be able to pick up five or six. But it has to be proven also. It has to be well audited in the at the end of your financial statement. It's stated there is part of your strategy. So the audience knows it. So the audience be able to feel it. And then the target market that buy your product or services knows that they are contributing to those goals that becoming the very base of your strategy in your company. And how about recognize which kind, which part or which number that becoming our own concern and becoming our becoming one of the strategic goals that we are going to create and dig even deeper more in the future. Next. First. It's about gender equality, equality. There is no difference between male and then female employee. The differences that being made is only by their own KPI, key performance indicator. When they perform or make a good KPI, they will get a good benefit and then also a good bonuses. When they got a low KPI, we will seek whether we be able to help them to improve their skills or not. So we are not seeing it as a senior, junior, or even male or female. And then uh, when we are talking about the contracts workers, those mustahik from Basnas, I can say that 100, about 90% of them are women. And they are survivor of domestic violence. They are also survivors of sexual abuse and also victims of uh, shark loans, etc. Why women? Because in my religion, I'm a Muslim in here. In my religion, I believe that women is a madrasa. You know the word of madrasa, right? It's the first madrasa for the children that being given in the family. So by strengthening women in here, you'll be able to strengthen the family in the future. And then somehow this concept developed even more, like uh, uh, it developed even more and then uh, the development becoming a program that we call in here is economic circular subsistence, even this, program economic or subsistence is being adopted as one of the pilot project from seven area being selected from the uh, being selected as one of the seven uh, seven areas that being appointed by central bank of indonesia and then one of it is rorokenes we are becoming the implement implementation partner implementation for the pilot project of this concept, the circular economic subsistence, based on gender equality, based on the financial inclusion, based on based on the gender uh, gender equality, financial inclusion, and also the third one is how to improve their quality of life by giving them fair wages in the future. Uh, decent work and economic growth. These goals also try targets the reduction of youth unemployment and aims for sustainable job creation. What we see from the data, when the people 
when we are talking about marginalized people, they tend to marry married in the younger age, 15, 16. When you are saying that there is nothing like that in the urban area, you are totally wrong. Because that's the problem that being faced in many urban area, the number of early age marriage from 15 to 16 is going to be your burden, it's going to be our burden in the future if we are not trying to fight this. So by strengthening the women in the family, by strengthening and then giving them uh, education, by, the, by giving them literation for the marginalized women in the future, we try to break the cycles for their daughters not to marry in early ages, finish the school so that they be able to improve their life in the future. And then after that, uh, it goes to the point of 11, sustainable of the community. Sorry, it's in the Spanish, ciudades de comunidades sostenibles. No, it's about the sustainable in the community of urban. Cities enable people to improve their social and economic life. They are important for idea, commerce, culture, and so many other things. Here, therefore, a circular economic inclusion and subsystem development can help solving the problem that the city are facing. Because there is a track of data there is a track of good impact. Rorokanes is being selected as one of the implementer for the pilot project, directly working with the Central Bank of Indonesia. And this is quite hard to be able to, to be selected by the Central Bank. Then we are talking about responsible consumption and production. Responsible consumption and production, what is the meaning in here? When we are talking about fashion industry, we are talking about the consumption of the waste being produced by the fashion industry. And then fashion industry is the second largest uh, contributors to the word waste. So how is this our strategy in here? In Rorokanes, we are not using uh, fast moving patient style, but we are using the strategy of slow moving. We do the research, we do also the, we do the research, we do also the uh, questionnaire and we track our product so that our product be able to be able to have a cycle, a cycle of life up to two years. How do we able to track it from the program that we create? All the Rorokanes buyers or all the Rorokanes vocation be able to return the product when it when they found there's a after sale, free after sale service, sorry. All Rorokanes Bukes will be able to use this program called free, uh, free um, after sale service for free up to two years. Why? So we are able to trace when is a product being made by us and then when it's being returned to us. To, uh, untuk diperbaiki apa ya? Untuk di... Uh, we fix. Yeah, so we are able to fix it. And then from the data that we are gathered, it's not even for two years. They are returning it to us in three years' time. So it's become proven again. Slow-moving fashion, not fast-moving fashion. And then the reduction of our waste uh, management in Torokanes. We, we, we are giving our waste our leftover. 
uh, where we select over to the local side, to the local crafter, so they be able to do the uh, upcycling product for them. We give it for the local, we give it to local crafter for free. And then the seven, the last one is the partnerships for the girls. Because of number five, <clears throat> because of number eight, because of number 11, because of number 12, it's coming to the end to number 17. Partnership for the goals. In order to achieve all these goals, partnership between governments, the private, private sector and civil society will be necessary. We already have a quite, a quite good networking with the Central Bank of Indonesia. And we are also have a in the organization, we also have a quite good relationship with the municipalities of Samara, the Central Java province, even with several ministry, Ministry of Labor, Ministry of Trade, Ministry of Finance, and then also mini, even Ministry of Industry. And then beside that, just in the in 2000 and 2020. Rorokness is becoming one of the cohort for UNCTAD. It's one part of the UN where it's in here, they're creating a network of women entrepreneurs that in the future can be quite savvy by using the technology or digital marketing to enhance their business. And then just recently I got the invitation to attend the conference, the big conference on behalf of UN in Jordan. We need common principles and values, a shared vision and shared goals. The people and the planet need to come first on every level. And then from our own terrace, our own terrace, back terrace, Ibu Lala already be uh, realizes our regular visitors and she's able, she be able to tell you the situation later on. When you go train, it's, it's going to, uh, the rain is going to, you know, come to you. And then when it's hot, it's going to hot. It's going to quite, every sunny day, it's going to quite hot. It's becoming, it's becoming quite hot in our terrace. And then right now, even the UN itself invited us to attend their venue in Jordan with all uh, with all the accommodation being paid by the UN. And then uh, why we uh, why on earth people always say why on earth that you you are able to achieve this kind of level? I can say because of the social entrepreneurship concept that we have built, and we are persistent in doing this, and we are trying. We are trying to do this later on by digging it deeper and how to make it a more, uh, more impactful towards the people's life, towards the preservation of the earth and then also the concept. So from the downstream to mainstream, be able to get the good impact being created by the industry of protagonists. Next. This is the very base when you are talking about value. I can say that sociopolitics is one of the value strategies. You can say that I always use this value pyramid. The base one is about functional. When we are talking, you have to have a value for your own product or for your own services. Yes, people always say about functional. It has to have safe times. It has to simplify. It has to make money, reduce risk, organize, integrate, connect, etc. But then people stops in the first level. It's quite wrong. You should move to the top of the pyramid. By what? By making it higher. You have to know how to enter the emotional level. Does your product or services also reduce anxiety, give rewards, nostalgia, design and aesthetic, best value, wellness, therapeutic value, fun entertainment, attractiveness, or provide access? Are of, uh, some people will ask me, do we have to create all of this in our product or services? No, you don't have to. You'll be able to get in functional about four or five points. And then in an emotional level, you get about three or four points. 
And then after that, we move again to the life changing. Provides help. Your product or services can be a self actualization for your target market. It can motivate them. It can be the heirloom or it can be the affiliation of belonging. Two or three points in here. And then the ultimate is self transcendence, which is in here is about social impact. When we are talking about social impact, you don't need any more branding because the target market, the people who works with you, the community who works with you is the one who is going to be your loyal advocate. How, uh, how come the central bank came to us and uh, even from 2018 up to 2022, four years right now, we are becoming the partner for Central Bank of Indonesia because of the social impact. After Central Bank appointed us as one of their partner, and then even one of the pilot projects is being done in Rorokanes, the Ministry of Labor, the Ministry of Industry, the Ministry of Trade giving us more opportunity to attend events, even uh, to attend events, and not just in events, but they are also uh, approach us to give us like projects, merchandising projects. They are also up, uh, approach us whether Rorokanes needs to buy more equipment, more machine in a in special price or sponsor by them. Even the UN also track us down. So I got a lot of opportunity. I got a lot of benefit. And at the end, we also be able to book more profit because of the sustainable strategy social partnership concept that we are trying to build since 2014. The concept is there, and then we try to make it more professional, more professionally, professionally done by the time being. That's the ultimate, self-transcendence and social impact. When we are talking only about profit, we are only talking about first level, functional, and then second level, emotional. That's it. Red ocean. You are playing in a red ocean. You are not playing or creating your own blue ocean. Next, please. This is the upstream mapping with sustainable development system. Uh, would you kindly click it again? Ah, okay. That's the vision, mission, and objective. Upstreams, we try to do the mapping, raw material resources, verified waste management system, locally done, etc. Assess using a checklist. And then in the process, how many local workforce, local artisans that who are working with you? And since they are working with you up until now, do, is their quality of life improve? Is their literation and skills improve? How about the turnover in your company, etc.? How about the gender issues play or being done in your internal company and then externally? Availability of benefits and facilities for work workforce? Are you provided well or not? Continuous education and training for employees, and then also waste management in your industry. Assess using a checklist, and there's, it has to have an SOP and there's also KPI. And use, again in here, customer data confidentiality. We, all, we already have about our databases already about, I think, I think 4,000 something, yeah, 4,000 something. 4,000 something. It's quite a big data. Even we are using cloud to analyze that. 
And then for each of those, for each of those, those are working in several corporate that becoming our partner right now, are working in the, are working with the ministry, uh, ministry, minister, ministry of trade, ministry of investment, labor, etc., and even in central bank. It's in which is, they are also becoming our partner right now. Business ethic and also business agreements is a must, especially when we are talking about export. It has all been done, and we also have a legal advisor for to do the contracts. You are still a small medium entrepreneur. Why you have to do that? Yes, because we try to account to comply with the legal systems. We try to comply, and then complying with the legal system is a must in here. Don't do anything stupid by your producing your business in the future. Breaking a rules is no, no, it's a big no, no. You are going to be a sasaran tembak apa ya? A shooter target with, with, uh, with a shooter target for your competitor or for other party that dislike you when you're doing it in the gray area. So comply with the legal system is a must. And then after that, you also have to do the R&D continuously, frequently, continuously, consistently to know about changes in customer and consumption behavior. Again, it has to have a SOP, it has to have a KPI, and then also you do the customer research. We won't be able to do it up ourselves. That's understandable, especially when you are we are talking about SMEs. SMEs, therefore, the investment not only goes for equipment or uh, for raw material or for uh, machinery, but in here, investment also goes for consultancy for areas that you are not good at. One of it is customer research. Next, that's the last of uh, my PPT. Thank you very much for on behalf of Rorokanes. Our tagline is good product, good impact, elegance in your everyday looks. You'll be able to follow our Instagram at Rorokanes Indonesia or at our Facebook at Rorokanes Indonesia. Our website is in www.rorokanes.com. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Sanas, for the very insightful session. And um, what a sincere philosophy of your company. Sincere and then... Um, I know that uh, you are a very uh, philosophical person, as we know that uh, philosophy is mother of uh, science. And actually, we both have same guru, yeah? <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's right, Isala. That's right. Yeah, we have same guru, but you graduated first. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, yeah. Um, for your information, that Rokkenes, next slide, please as one of uh, the official merchandise in G20 2020 in Bali, Indonesia. Yes. Yep. The applause for Thank you. Isanas and Arakanas. And before we go to Q&A session, let's break for two minutes. Video, please.
Apologies for the technical issues. Yeah, and uh, class, anyone of you have comment or question to Miss Sanas since uh, she is a very busy businesswoman and very busy mom. We are very glad to have you here, Miss Sanas. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. It's also an honor for me to attend this class. Mm, um, is our organist a family business? Well, I can say that I cannot. I I cannot say that it's going to be a family business yet, because um, my children, my son, he's seventeen right now. He's seventeen right now, and he's in the twelve years. I uh, sorry, in this in year twelve. Grade 12, when I asked him whether he wants to continue Rorokanes, he said that I have no idea yet. And then his brother, his little brother, is still 11 years old. He hasn't come up with the idea. When we asked him, Do you want to work with Rorokanes? My little one say, My youngest one say that I think I want to be a soldier in the future. So, I cannot say that it's going to be a family business or not. It depends on my children, though, whether they're going to continue the business or not. I'm, I'm not going to push them. I'm in. Uh, I already introduced them to the business since now. Even I took them to the exhibition. I took them to the expos, and then my eldest is also helping me in doing some of the translation and managing the web. Managing the web of Rorokanes, he's the one who's in charge on this. But whether it's going to be his patient later on, I, I haven't got any news yet or information for that. He said that. Well, actually, he said that. He said that he wants to attend Taylor's or APU next year in KL. <laughs> as a mom, as a mom, a moderate mom, try to. I'm not going to push my children to enter or to work with something that they don't really like. So I hope that they're going to fall in love with their organist in the time being. But right now, they haven't made any decision yet. Mm, are you planning to expand it in the future? Yes. I try to expand it in the future. I, I do really want to scale up. But again, but again, there's already be several investors, several investor meeting with Rorokanes. But uh, but unfortunately, unfortunately, we don't have the same vision and mission in here. We don't share. We don't share the same value. Even in the 19th, yeah, 19th of November, there's invitation for Rorokanes to meet with several tycoons. <laughs> Several conglomerates in Indonesia. I cannot establish their name uh, to do the pitching, to do the pitching in front of them. Well, actually, one of it is a very famous because he, he married with uh, he married with one of the famous singer, not just in Indonesia, but also in Singapore and Malaysia. And one of it also owns. Uh, company that imported luxury goods to Indonesia. But again, but again, I have to know their value first, whether their value is in the same pace 
with rorokenes whether their vision or mission is in the same pace with rorokenes or not. How? Uh, what happened? Uh, why is it not in the same pace? Then, unfortunately, I will ask. I will say that. Nah, okay. Probably later on, you be able to invest in our company. But I think it's 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 not now. But if you have, if if they are willingly, willingly, lovingly fall in love with the value being created by the Rorokanes, they are falling in love with the vision mission that we try to accomplish the future. They will come to enter Rorokanes. That's the very that's the that's the very first rules <laughs> that we have to agree upon with. Oh, sorry if I miss out. But did you start it or got it passed down to you? No, I started from the very first start. It's not passing down to me. I'm a housewife though. I will. I, I work in the bank industry industry before. And then after that, I resigned and I'm becoming a housewife. And then in 2013, when I asked my husband to buy me Bottega Veneta, he said, no, I say you, you are being ridiculous in here. Is your father inspired you for this business? Yes. He's my first mentor. He's the one who pushing me to do this by saying buying is very easy, but build one. To build one, to build the industry is quite difficult. Are you going to choose the easiest way or are you going to choose, are you going to choose the difficult ways? And then after that, I say that why cannot Rorokanes, uh, sorry, why cannot we make a good quality buy by using 85% local content in Indonesia? Why? Because I see uh, I know that there are several fake uh, fake imitation imitation you able to see it in the uh, street i think there's also being sell also in malaysia the fake items produced by chai produced 100 by china and by korea and then the the price is quite high as well i think it's in ringgit it can cost you up to uh, 1000 ringgit or 7 700 to 800 ringgit for the fake one and then it's trigger me again why can we can we make it by using 85% of local content? And then voila, alhamdulillah. We are in, in this stage right now. We are in the position right now. Uh, where is it? Okay. When I yeah help you. Okay. Um yes. when is the first time you interested to S? Uh, it triggers me not in 2014. It triggers me in 2015, actually. Not 2014, but 2015. 2015, it triggers me. And then I say to myself, I said to myself that I want to work along with disabilities for people. Or I want to, I say something like there's a restlessness in my, in myself, in my own self that uh well we already put profit but are we just going to stop just in terms of profit in here and then by the 2016 we work along with pundi perempuan at first pundi perempuan is a organ is a what do you call the gerakan apa ya a movement it's a movement being established by komnas kom uh, komisi nasional perempuan Komite Nasional Perempuan, uh, Komnas Perempuan, and also uh, Yayasan Sosial Foundation of aduh, sos, Yayasan Sosial Indonesia untuk Kemanusiaan, Indonesian Human Act for Humanism Foundation. And in Pundi Perempuan, we try to advocate the, we try to give advocation for domestic violence. Uh, victims and also for sexual abuse victim and try to build a safe houses for them. I was, I was being approached by one of my best friends that, uh, that 
uh, one I was being approached by my best friend that be, that at those moment he's the head or and also the founder of Uni Perempuan. He said that I need a platform to be used to announce and then to make awareness more more uh, reachable and then more bigger in women audience. And I say to her, you be able to use your organization as your platform. And even some of the profit, some of our our profit that being made is being given to being given to Puni Perempuan. And starting in 2016, at the end of 2016. And by 2017, with the involvement in Pundi Perempuan, it triggers us. It triggers me even more. We can do better though. We can do better and still making profit out of it. And then after that, just coming out, we make with uh, another project. And then in 2018, 2019, was being approached by Basnas. Being approached by Basnas, we have this bunch of mustahik of business, the one that being given the one that uh, those women that being given monthly uh, monthly benefit by business and we don't know how to develop or making them mandiri to self-sustain in the future. Can you help us? And I said, okay then. But because when we when we saw the data, when we saw the, because we do assessment to those women. And those women are on the middle of their 40s, on the middle of their 40s. Most of it are only high school graduate. They don't have any decent work. And even some of them, about 50%, besides they are also domestic violence survivor, 50% of it are single mother with uh, acute cerebral palsy children. They cannot go anywhere because they have to take care of their children. So in here, I just say to Basnas, okay, I'll teach them how to weave. And then after that, their, uh, their, uh, their uh, hasil anyaman, apa ya? the, their production, their, their production, be, be, be able to progress it, be, be able to progress it to unfair prices. And then after that, uh, because we are working also along with Bank Indonesia, Bank Indonesia saw this project oversee this project and say to me that do you really do you want to go to develop this project even more going deeper and then more professionally done and i say to them yes why not and then i make some proposal which is from central java is being sent over to jakarta along with other any other candidates from all over indonesia and then voila, <laughs> you're being appointed and being selected as one from the seven pilot project being done. And after a year, uh, the central bank did the assessment, did the monitoring, evaluation, and assessment in Rorokanes to know whether this project is uh, correctly done, correctly done, fairly done, and etc. And after they found out that the result is quite good in the year of 22, it is becoming one of the, what do you call it? Babon, apa ya? Big book or big book or the pattern, pattern, book pattern, book pattern that being, uh, is being extract, extracted by the central bank and becoming one of the book pattern that can be the that can be ah uh, yang akan di, yang dijadikan untuk percontohan di 26 KPW that can be the exemplary exemplary bible book ya yeah, ya yeah, bible book yeah guidance, bible book ya yeah. yeah, bible book or guidance for another 26 areas uh, all over Indonesia ah uh, what is do you have any official store in Indonesia? Hey, sorry. Do you have any official store in Malaysia? No, no, yet. <laughs> As I said before, we are doing it IOM with several cooperation in Malaysia. We are doing it IOM. We are doing it with 
uh, the brand, a Malaysian brand. What is the biggest challenge in this industry? Oh, the customer behavior, the changing of customer behavior before COVID, during COVID, and after COVID is changing a lot. And then uh, after, uh, and then also several several analysis or also say that in 2023 and 2024. It's going to be the whole lot different again due to the war between Russia and then Ukraine. So the changing of customer behavior and how to how to make a what is strategic nicely done by using the data, macro data and then micro data. That's the biggest challenges. Once you know how to handle it. Once you know how to nail it, make a good analysis, everything is okay, I think. But again, you have to study more, right? You have to study more and you have to gather a lot of data. And it really takes time and it really takes your patience. Not just you, but also for the whole team. Have you received any financial support from the organization fighting for women's empowerment? Uh, not financial support, not financial support, but they're giving me platform to speak up. They're giving me platform to speak up and then this platform, I'll be able to use it as the tools for our own branding, our own marketing strategy. And this organization becoming our loyal customers. The people who work with this organization are buying their merchandising, are buying the product, uh, the needs of their bags with Torokanes. So it's not just about financial financial support, what but I get more. Oh, more than financial support. I got many platforms that will be able to establish more opportunity to explore in the future. Okay, um, financial support in the pyramid just now, maybe just like the, the base one, yeah? Yes, and, but yeah, not uh, the... Financial support, I did not get it from the women empowerment uh, from the organization of women empowerment. But financial support, I got it from our government. I was eligible, even about three banks, three major banks in Indonesia approached me. There's BNI, Mandiri, and also Bank Jateng. It's quite big. They approached me and they asked me to make loans. To make loans to them to get the loans from their bank. And when I say to those three banks, I just say like, okay, because the bunga apa ya, interest is the same, but I be able to push them from bank, bank, bank Mandiri, bank uh, BNI, BNI, and also from Bank Jateng, what kind of project that you be able to give to Rora Kenes? So I'm just go from that point, I'll be able to get, I will I willingly get the loan from you. Three banks. When anyone's uh, been the other one, everyone say that uh, we are quite different. We, we are we are facing difficulties to take a loan from the bank. The bank approach us. The bank approach us. Dear ma'am, dear organize, please. Take the loan from our bank. Not just KUR. KUR is, a, KUR is a special loan created by the government, created by the government for SMEs, but also bigger loans. Bigger loans with uh, bigger loans with easy, easy scheme payments. And then another financial support, the project that being done in Rodokanes for financial inclusion, uh, for financial inclusion and for secular subsistence, took us to the event of G20. 
just a month ago, just a month ago, I I I was invited to the not FMCBG the the one that in Georgia because in the discussion panel that being attended by the Ministry of Finance, uh, Central Bank, the video played there then evidence evidence base being presented there are the project that being done being made in the organization as the implement, implementation partner. So I got the bigger audience again. And then even for the merchandise is being made in the organization. So I can say with doing the social entrepreneurship concept, you be able to make your strategic more effectively done, get more audience, and therefore you be able to create more profit to your company, still making good impacts. Okay, thank you so much. Last but not least, I saw very interesting uh, comment. Great. I hope there is someone in the family who can continue to expand it in the future. Amen. Class, yeah, class, class, as you know that in a family business lecturing, um, daughter-in-law is also part of family business. So <laughs> you still have a chance. <laughs> yeah. Maybe your daughter-in-law. Yeah. Hopefully, if my well, my son is still looking for a girlfriend, though. If anyone willing to be my future daughter-in-law, be able to. I'm happy to accept you all. <laughs> okay, Miss Anna. Last but not least, on behalf of uh, Dr. Veranita, thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you so much for the participants. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's a an honor to be invited in this uh, in this session. It's an honor for me on behalf of our Kenes. Thank you so much, Ibu Lala, and uh, thank you so much, Ibu Veranita. Thank you so much. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye.